Hi. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me uh, how we remanufacture uh, CNC machines. In the background, you can see these machines we received from the US recently. These are Cincinnati centerless grinders, 325-12 centerless grinders to be specific. So uh, over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to walk you through uh, the different steps and procedures that we follow in remanufacturing. So the first step in remanufacturing is um, complete detailed study of the machine and after that we dismantle the entire machine and take it up for cleaning and painting. What you can see in the background is uh, we are dismantling the machine for uh, cleaning and painting as a first step. So we at Lavin, we remanufacture CNC machine to better than OEM standards. What happens after that? After we dismantle the machine, we catalog every single part of the machine, whether it is in good condition or worn out condition. And we invite the customer for what we call as a joint inspection. In a joint inspection, the customer and us, we sit and look at every single part of the machine and we take a call whether this, these parts have to be retained or it has to be replaced. What you can see here in the background is uh, we are dismantling the entire material handling system for complete roller line for one of the major uh, bearing manufacturers uh, in India. So this uh, material handling system came from the US and we have taken it up for reconditioning and uh, as you can see here, the, our customers are also here and we work very closely with the customer in uh, dismantling and joint inspection before we take it up for reconditioning. What exactly happens in a customer joint inspection? So in remanufacturing of CNC machines, during the customer joint inspection, we are going to address three critical R's in remanufacturing. That is retain, recondition and replace. What happens in the first R, retain? We are going to retain all the good parts in, uh, on the machine. Like for example, the casting, the bed, the slides, the housing, all the casting parts we are going to retain as it is. Now, the second R is recondition. So we are going to look at slightly worn out parts and we are going to recondition it and fit it back onto the machine. Like for example, the spindle. So the spindle, typically because of uh, use, it's going to take a lot of wear and tear. So we are going to do chromium plating, ceramic coating, and we are going to recondition the spindle and put it back on to uh, the machine. The last one is replace. We are going to look at parts which are completely worn out and we are going to replace with brand new parts. For example, bearings, ball screws. So these are the different parts which are going to, we are going to replace it to brand new. So uh, these are the three critical R's in uh, remanufacturing and we are going to take decisions on these three R's during a customer joint inspection.